Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Today is a celebration. It is the 200 subscribers. I recently cracked 200 subscribers. Um, I think I'm actually up to like 214 now. That might not sound like a big deal to a lot of people, but uh, it's a pretty big deal to me because honestly, I'm surprised that there's even 200 people in this world that want to watch my dumb videos. So thank you. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I just wanted to use this video to just kind of number one, say thank you. And uh, then also just kind of to talk about my motivations for this as far as starting this channel is concerned. And then what some of my inspirations were as far as albums that kind of made me fall in love with all things brutal. So I believe I might have talked about this before uh, in my introductory video when I first changed uh, the channel over to the Oodles of Brutals name. Um, I wanted to do a YouTube channel to kind of challenge myself and take myself out of my comfort zone. Uh, when I started this channel, I'd been writing about metal for many years. I first started that in college. Actually, before college, I was writing reviews and just kind of emailing them to my friends who were into metal just for fun. Um, and then, of course, when I got to college, I wrote for my college newspaper. But, um, you know, writing's always kind of been my thing. I did take, like, a broadcast journalism class while I was in college. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Especially the part where I had to be on camera when we did kind of like a, a mock newscast, basically. Uh, couldn't stand it, and I've never been very um, confident in my speaking skills either. So I started the YouTube channel not only to continue to have something to do with metal, but also to challenge myself as far as, uh, you know, being on camera and speaking on camera and things of that nature. Um, so that's kind of the reason I started this channel. And then as far as it uh, being Oodles of Brutals, uh, that started as a kind of a semi-regular column on my blog where I would talk about different brutal death metal and gore grind and slam albums. And, you know, I feel like there's like a million black metal YouTube channels, but there's hardly any death metal channels um, as far as reviews and stuff are concerned. So that was, uh, you know, kind of my motivation there as far as starting this channel. Um, you know, as things have gone on, I've kind of wanted to expand to cover other styles of metal that I enjoy. Um, so going forward, you know, I'll try to continue to focus on brutal stuff, but uh, there's other things I want to talk about on here, and I intend to do that. I intend to kind of expand the scope of what Oodles of Brutals is and what it can be, so I hope you guys will stick around for the ride on that. Um, but yeah, the brutal stuff's always going to be the top thing on this channel. To be honest, this year I haven't heard a ton of brutal stuff that's really tripped my trigger, and that's kind of why you haven't seen a lot of content. Um... But I'm, I'm always looking, and, you know, certainly as soon as I find stuff, I will be reviewing it. I've got a few other ideas for videos here in the meantime uh, that I think you guys will really enjoy. So, uh, you know, hang in there <laughs> if you subscribe because I cover the brutal stuff. I promise uh, more brutal stuff is coming, but uh, we're just not quite there yet. If you guys have any suggestions of stuff I should listen to, stuff that came out this year as far as slam or gore grind or brutal death metal, uh, by all means, please drop me a comment, send me an email, get at me on the Facebook page or Twitter, uh, whatever floats your boat on that. Moving on, I uh, just wanted to talk about a couple albums uh, that kind of made me fall in love with Brutal Death Metal. These albums won't be new to you. Um, they're classics, they're tried and true, but um, I just wanted to share a couple things just so you guys can just... Just as a thank you to everybody that subscribed and uh, as a welcome day, new subscribers, just to kind of get an idea of where I'm coming from as a fan of this stuff. Uh, and the first album I wanted to talk about was uh, Tomb of the Mutilated by Cannibal Corpse. This was not the first Cannibal Corpse album I heard. I believe the first one I heard was The Bleeding, but uh, this is the album that made me fall in love with Cannibal Corpse and made me fall in love with brutal death metal in general. Um, I consider these guys to be the godfather, and I think most people do, but I consider these guys to kind of be the godfathers of brutal death metal as far as the imagery, the subject matter, the sound, all of it. Uh, you know, I think it all stems from these guys in some way or another. Next up has got to be uh, Suffocation, specifically Pierced From Within. This is the Roadrunner 2 from the Vault version uh, that also has Effigy of the Forgotten on it, but... Uh, uh, I, I When I first heard Pierced From Within, I was just totally fucking blown away. I'd never heard anything like Suffocation at that time. Uh, and that was the first Suffocation album that I ever heard. Uh, these, uh, what can I say about Suffocation? They're brutal, they're technical, they're kind of proto-slam. 
Uh, just an amazing band all around, and this album definitely, along with Tomb of the Mutilated, uh, got me into brutal stuff. You know, I mean, shit. Uh, it, it, it's it's just an incredible album. And don't get me wrong, Effigy of the Forgotten is great too, but for me, uh, when it comes to suffocation, Pierced from Within is where it's at. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to talk about one of my <laughs> all-time favorite bands uh, by far. I've been listening to them for, what, 20-some years now. Uh, gotta go with Mortician, Domain of Death. This is my favorite Mortician album, and honestly, I don't know why it's my favorite. I just find myself listening to this one all the time. I got into them kind of late, so this was one of the first ones of theirs that I heard and that I bought. And uh, I've been a Mortician fan now for 20-some years or whatever, but um, yeah, these guys are amazing. You know, obviously a death metal band, but they also kind of... Um, go into the kind of the gore grind and grindcore side of things as well. Uh, tons of horror movie samples, which I fucking love. Um, yeah, can't say enough good things about Mortician. If you haven't heard this one, most people, you know, obviously House by the Cemetery, Hacked Up for Barbecue, Chainsaw Dismemberment. Those are kind of the classic Mortician albums, but for me, this one is my favorite. Uh, I don't know why it's my favorite, but I just love it. It's so goddamn heavy and noisy and ugly sounding, and the samples are awesome, and I love this cover art. Uh, yeah, everything about this album is great. So there you have it, folks. Anyway, guys, again, I just wanted to say thank you. I don't want this video to run too much longer. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me over 200 subscribers. Uh, it's so cool. Uh, hopefully we can spread the word and keep this thing going. Uh, you know, ultimately, obviously, I want to get up and up to 1,000 viewers. I've got a long way to go, but I'd love to see that day come. So if you like what you're seeing uh, when you watch my videos, please feel free to spread them all over social media. Um, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, smash the shit out of that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications so you can see when new stuff pops up. I don't post uh, new videos constantly, so it shouldn't be too annoying to have notifications turned on. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for subscribing to Oodles of Brutals. It means the world to me. And I'm enjoying this. Hope you're enjoying being along for the ride with me and watching me make a fool out of myself on this channel. Uh, so again, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.